Hey there, good people of the YTPC. It's Harriet Herfer, and this is going to be my first impression, first impression, first impression of Carter Hall pipe tobacco over the counter. And I tell you what, this was like a like a unicorn for me to find here in Ohio. I went to every smoke shop of every kind <laughs> trying to find it, and it got to be a a thing because. I could have just ordered it and had it delivered, but I thought, man, I'm going to find one eventually. And uh, I just happened into a little small uh, smoke shop that normally I wouldn't go into because I was at a different uh, store next to it. Walked in and they had one, one on the sh on the shelf. I think it was three dollars and fifty nine cents. So apparently here in Ohio they're flying off the shelves, and it's like a rare sighting. So anyway was able to find it. I already took the plastic cellophane off. It um, comes with plastic cellophane. I'm sure most of you guys know about it. John Middleton Company. I think it's been around since about the 1800s. So I have a feeling. I don't remember Carter Hall when I was growing up, but I have a feeling my dad probably smoked it at some point in time. <clears throat> so I think it is. I know it's a burly forward blend. Oh, look at that. This little pouch. Oh, that's cool. Put it in a box and then in a pouch. So, it's a, I think it has Virginia's in it. Ribbon cut. But it is definitely a burly forward blend. So, hmm. Let's have a look-see. Yeah. Yeah. It's had a, actually a good uh, smoking uh, moisture level. Hmm. Well, it says it's a ribbon cut, but there are other there are other pieces in here too. There's interesting. Let's have a look. There's big hunks in there, and it's <laughs> like I'm not exactly sure, folks, that I would call that ribbon cut. There are just Well, that's interesting, huh? Not not what I would call ribbon cut, but you know what? They make it. They can call it. They can call it whatever they want. So, especially if it's tasty. But I think it has a topping of I don't know whiskey and cocoa. I think it said. I, wa I read a little uh, thing on it in one of the. one of the um, stores but I'm, I got the grassy and citrusy from it very nice light light scent I'm gonna pack that back in there so I don't know I thought I've had this in there for a little bit because it took me a while to find it and then I saw old Berg did a did a review on it and you know, I've got that in there. I need to get that out. I guess I can back up so you can see me. And, uh, summer's, you know, summer's coming to a close here soon. Kids are back in school, and I better get on that. Hmm. Well. Definitely burly in there. I thought Wyatt was gonna bark. Yep, just like I would expect nutty. Maybe ever so slightly sweet, but not, not much. And as far as the added flavorings, must be, must be very light.
Yeah. I don't get maybe a touch of cocoa. I don't get any whiskey. With my refined palate. I do not detect any whiskey. But I do I do see the where they say there's cocoa in there, just a touch maybe. Actually, I like this better than I do Haunted Bookshop. I really wanted to like Haunted Bookshop a lot more than I do. Well, this is actually better. I gotta say, I'm not getting any bite from it yet either. Yeah, that's not bad. Feel the freshness in the luxury pouch. It's a distinguished ripe tobacco. Let's see what size this is. One and a half ounces for three dollars and fifty nine cents. You know? It's not bad. I can see myself smoking this. You know, some people not everybody has different tastes. Some people kind of poo-poo on the OTC uh, blends. And that's okay. But I find myself really, I know this is about Carter Hall, but I really find myself sometimes when I go to, go to the cupboard, I find myself looking for the velvet. There's something, I think the word I'm looking for is comforting, really, about velvet. And this isn't like a complex blend. It pairs really well with the coffee that I have, too. I did a pressed coffee again, a touch of sugar in it. Coffee cream. And it really pairs well with it. I mean, I can see myself smoking this. I... You know, a couple months ago, man, did I not like Burleys. It's just amazing how your tastes change. This is good. Mild flavor. I and mean, if you just want to sit back and... I can see myself wanting to smoke this again. <laughs> yeah. It's just a... Uh, Very mild, ever so slightly sweet. And I'm not getting any cocoa now. I still have a little bit of that grassy and nutty. But uh, yeah, hey folks, I think we have a winner. I'm finding myself. I, you know, Q says that there isn't a tobacco that I don't like, and that's not true. He's just. He always gives me a hard time. There's a lot of tobaccos I don't like. But I am starting to like a lot more tobaccos than I didn't like before. I mean, I tried a vapor the other day, and I'm going to smoke it again here soon. I really liked it. So this is something that, you know, if I can ever find it again, <laughs> I'll smoke that again. Yeah. Maybe next time I get it out, I'll I'll grab one of my dad's old pipes and smoke it in there since it's a, a codger blend. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Also, I got a, a package from, from Sue Dunhill. She said no yabo necessary, so I didn't. But, she sent me some girly stuff. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm sure you guys out there think that's cute. But I wanted to say thank you, Sue. She sent me this. It has a little pipe charm on it and a heart charm. It's adorable. <clears throat> she sent me another bracelet. I don't think I can show it to you. I have, like, I don't know if I'll show you that or not. It's on my ankle, guys. I'm going to stick my foot up to the camera. But 
That is really cute. It's a charm bracelet with, with stuff on it that's just adorable. It has a pipe on it. And, and uh, Sue, I, I jingle when I walk, so I really like that. That's cute. I have, like, stupid, crazy, small fingers, wrists, and ankles. So the bracelet that you sent me, actually, the one that's on my on my ankle somewhere, and it is an anklet. It's really cute. Also, she sent me something I think she's supposed to, she's, uh, supposed, she's trying to coax me over to the dark side. You're a bad, bad woman, Sue Dunham. <laughs> oh, she sent me a couple of these guys. Oh. I have never in my life seen anybody do snuff or done snuff. She also sent me this with it, which I thought was kind of cute. It's got the little spoon with it. Come on. So I am, uh, I watched a couple, a couple vidges on it. Some of them are a little scary. <laughs> I won't lie to you. But, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see about that. I'm afraid to. I ain't seen a lot of watery eyes. People blowing their noses. I don't know. But I appreciate the opportunity if I do choose to do it, Sue. It was a great package. Of, oh my gosh. There were like, probably like 10 different little goodies in there. It was just really sweet and a nice little sis to sis note. I really enjoyed that, Sue. You are a sweetheart. You really are. So, I wanted to say thank you. And I'm going to get back to this Carter Hall because, you know, it's just not complex still. It's actually burning really great. Hey, I haven't had to relight, actually. I didn't pack it super tight, but, I mean, the bowl's already two-thirds of the way down because I smoke like a freaking freight train. And, uh, yeah, the... Any topping that I tasted before is totally gone. But flavor's consistent other than that. There's just not a lot going on with it. But sometimes I like to just sit back and not have a big flavor punch in my face. I think that's one of the reasons I like velvet. It's smooth. I'd, I'd say this is smooth too. It's I don't mean this in a bad way. It's simple and smooth. Sometimes you just need that or want that. Or I do. So yeah. You guys, if you haven't tried this, I can see why this is a summer blend. Very light. You know, I'm just surprising myself left and right. Well guys, I have taken up enough of your time. I hope you guys have a, have a good uh, weekend. You take care and go sub a newbie.